Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is episode six of In Search of the Ancients, a series where I try to find the big new buildings and get all the new lore from them. Check out this radioactive planet a bit. It's an extreme radioactive planet. It's got these weird, bizarrely shaped rocks. check out what other planets there are in the star system, see if there's anything else cool to discover, and then we'll move on to find another building. again. Rotting planet. Yeah. Last one. Dang it, gotta deal with the pirates. before I was so rudely interrupted. Frozen planet. Okay. Not too much interesting looking here, so I'm gonna move on. Oh my gosh, 
the name of the star system is kind of similar to my YouTube name. The first two letters are M-A, the last letters are day. So it's almost Mac for a day, except a bunch of different letters in the middle. <laughs> Submerged relics give head Hadal cores now. Cool. I'm going to have to check oceans and find submerged relics. That's awesome. Oop. That's good that they changed what those give. Cool. Blue star system with Gek. Try that, see if we can find more interesting stuff. Observatory. Acidic planet. It's a big observatory. Where's the landing thing? There it is. Ooh, what do we got here? We got the weird mushrooms that get off green smoke. Whoa, this is a totally new, oh my gosh. This is a totally new type of toxic planet. Everything's different. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. It gives off glowing green smoke. So finally an asset on a toxic planet that explains why the atmosphere is toxic. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I wish it would have stayed night. It was cool looking at nighttime. Oh well. Yay. Found a bunch of cool new stuff. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to start... Well, it says it has two... things that it drop. I'm gonna have to start destroying all the new assets and seeing if they drop something special. Because people have been... And I discovered that one thing that dropped honey, so... Possible there might be hidden drops in some of these things. Nope, nothing. 
It might just be if there's only one drop. This only has one drop. Let's see if it has something special. Nope, just carbon. I like the colors. There's some more of the smoking mushrooms. Or releasing toxins or whatever they're doing. What the? Oh man. We've had tentacly things like this before, but this must be a new asset because it's it's wriggling. That is so cool, you can see it undulating. Oh, I like that. Hopefully people can tell on the video. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's fairly obvious that they're, the tentacles are moving. That's a really good touch. Because we've had tentacly things like this on toxic planets before. But they were just static objects. But this is a moving thing. Oh, I, I didn't scan it yet? I thought I did. That is really cool. Oh, I'm gonna scan this. Wow. That is so co cool looking. It's such a subtle but such a nice touch. Really makes things more interesting to have, you know, bizarre mushrooms that give off smoke vapors. I like it. All right. Minor settlement. What the? I scanned myself apparently. I was glowing for a long time. Here we go. Hmm, what plan is, is this? Planetary anomaly, so it's an exotic biome. See what this is like. Submerge. Uh, Joe says I forget the submerged relics were called. Yeah, they used to be called aquaspheres back in the day. Cool. It's a exotic biome with the giant underwater asset things. Kind of a cool atmosphere color.
Oh, I gotta discover it and get my navigation data. <laughs> yeah. Suppose I could check for underwater relics here. Uh oh, you're a predator. Don't see any on my scanners. Is that a water creature? Oh, <laughs> it's a creature that walked into the water. It's funny. Here's an underwater creature, probably. Ooh, I really wish they would have... Well, I don't know if they did. It'd be cool if they added more underwater creatures. I think we've had underwater crabs for a while. Yeah, I think they added those way back in the Abyss update. We got some more creatures. More underwater crabs. There are just a ton of species of underwater crabs here. What's this one? But yeah, I don't think they added much in the way of new water creatures. Weird. Why is there three species of underwater crab? Oh well. No, just underwater clams. I don't see any aquasphere type stuff. Oh my gosh! I found a turtle! Nice! Let's look at it with photo mode. Aww, cute little turtle. It looks exactly like a turtle. It's basically a sea turtle. Oh well, it's still cool to find new types of creatures. They should have these in the water, too. Um, oh, that would be so cool if they could crawl on the ground like this and then they could swim underwater just like t sea turtles. Huh, cool. Oh, we got a giant crab over here. This planet likes its crabs and other shell creatures like turtles. Scanning something here, I guess it's underground. Whoa, what the stupid puffies. It seems to be is it underground or is it just over the hill? Gotta just be an underwater crab, right? Or underground crab? Cave crab? It's not letting me dig down there. Ah, oh, here we go. We gotta be in here. Yep, it's uh... Oh! 
It's a different kind of creature. I don't think it's supposed to be in a cave. I think it's just stuck in the cave. Let's see. It'll tell me if it's supposed to be a cave creature. Uncommon underground. It is an underground creature. Cool. Poor guy's freaking out. Oh, there's some... Oh! What the? This one's stuck in the ceiling. <laughs> oh well. Where's the hole I got in there? Here we go. It's daytime now. Oh well, anyway, let's get going. shelter. What the? I think it's just having trouble loading in. I don't think it's supposed to be buried. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it popped up. Ah, not getting what I want. It's all on this planet, too. Oh, nope, this is on a different planet. Ah, it's back on the very cool mushroom planet. This is a trinary star system, three stars. <sighs> I think this is the same observatory it sent me to earlier. Maybe, maybe not. Such a cool planet. Much better than other boring mushroom planets. Minor settlement. Is 
back on the other planet. <laughs> oh, Joseph. <laughs> Joe. Joe was trying to correct himself, and he had so many spelling errors. Uh, sorry, I'm not trying to make fun of you, Joe. It's just so funny. <laughs> he said, The Albemerged Rolex that biz. <laughs> trying to say the submerged relics that is. Uh... It's because, I'm not making fun of his spelling ability, it's because his phone, well, according to him, his phone picks up the wrong finger presses or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he says, little phone, big thumbs. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Hopefully find a planetary archive before I run out of charts. At least there is a way to find them besides flying around planets. I don't know which is worse though, because this is very time consuming too using chart after chart until you finally get one. At least I pretty much always get a navigation data back every time I do one of these. Taking forever to find one.
Whoa. If I ever get 25,000 nanites, I can upgrade my multi-tool. To A rank. Ugh. Got one more try. If not, I'm gonna give up on this star system. Try a different one. There's nothing for me to discover here. That's too bad. Although I could search through boxes and stuff for navigation data, but whatever. So trading post is one that you don't necessarily get the navigation data back from. Alright, last try. Nope. Okay. Let's see if there's anywhere else I want to check out. Any other planet I want to check out in the star system. If not, we'll move on. Ooh. Ah, nice. I got the Grave of the Ocean King. Sweet. I believe you get fossils by flying through it. Or do I have to destroy these? No? I know there's a way to get... a fossil from this. Oh, I did. I just got a yellowed partial skeleton. Cool. So yeah, this is the Grave of the Ocean King. Maybe it's a space whale skull, who knows. But yeah, it's a giant skull floating in space for some reason. Pretty cool. Arctic planet, meh. Columned planet, that's a crystal exotic. Let's see what that is. Webbed. I haven't been to a webbed exotic since the updates. So I think I'll land on it just for the heck of it.
Wait, actually, I think I have been to one. Auto mod? What? I don't. I didn't know I had an auto mod. That was weird. Whatever. Um, so I think I have been to a webbed planet since the update, but whatever. I'm just gonna land on it anyway. It's the tentacle ball type exotic planet. It's a shame. They really haven't done a lot more with the exotic planets. Exotic planets are mostly the same. It's mostly the old, original planets that have been changed. But, it's better than nothing. These planets are pretty much the same. They were a bit different because there were new creatures on them, but then they got rid of all the... Well, there were regular creatures on them, but they got rid of those, so... One less thing that we could do on those planets. Oh well. Alright, let's go to another star system. Hopefully get... another tower. Oh, yeah. I've got over 20 navigation data. That's good. I wish they left extra creatures. Weird planets would get a higher chance of weird. Yeah, exactly. Instead of just getting rid of the normal creatures that were on exotic planets, they should have added in more of the new weird type of creatures into them. But, oh well. Whatever. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, that was a blue star system. I've found that other color stars besides yellow, I seem to have more trouble getting celestial archives there. So I think I'm just going to only do yellow stars from now on. Here we go. I'll have to buy the charts when I get there. could just be superstition, but it seems like non-yellow stars, I always have more trouble there finding Celestial Archives. speed bump there. And here.
Okay. Oh yeah, I've got a upgrade I should trade in for nanites. Hope we can find a tower in the system. Observatory. It's on a gamma intensive. Nope, it's not on that planet. It's on a moon. Desert Moon. Cool. Here, a bunch of stone cacti, flying eels. I like the X-Rank tech. I found some really good ones. Cool. Yeah, they seem to be kind of a random power level. Blah. Transmission tower. Like, you can't tell what their class actually is. Yep, X-Rank exists. It's illegal upgrades that aren't always good. Sometimes they're bad, but sometimes they're really good. Oh, this is a bubble planet. Bubble exotic. Yep, illegal. Hi Luigi Cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, they aren't really purchased by illegal means. You can just find them buried in the ground and stuff. And there's also other ways to get them, I think. Yeah, it would make sense if you stole them from freighters or something. Man, am I ever going to find another Celestial Archive? Seem to be cursed right now. Why is it called Holographic Comms Tower? I've never seen them called that before. I'm going to have to check it out. See if there's something... Oh! Oh, it's a, it's a hollow terminus. 
Cool. You can locate hollow termini with these. That's really rare. I've never gotten one with this chart before. Yeah, it's a holographic comms tower. Oh, and this is a different planet, I think. This is a different one, yeah. Oh yeah, I need to check if these ever give graw berries when you destroy them. That would be cool if they did. Probably not, because they have secondary elements already. They look like grawberry plants, sort of. No, they probably don't ever give grawberries. Not that it matters too much. Wait, Joe, you don't have an X-Rank scanner upgrade, do you? That'd be interesting if that was what caused the Sentinels to attack you when you scanned that one time. Probably not, but it would be interesting if they made it so that scanning or using illegal technology makes Sentinels attack you sometimes. So this one doesn't have a primary element. I'm going to destroy it and see if maybe it gives something secret. Nope, it just gives carbon. Okay. I have suit and ship, haven't found any good multi multi tool ones. I was hoping to find oh there's a grawberry. I was hoping to look at grawberry so I could compare it to these other things that look like grawberries. Would have made sense, yeah. It looks very similar. It looks like a mini version of them that's open. Yeah, that's why I thought maybe they, ooh, gave grawberries when you destroy them, but they don't. Not like the honey things I found. Alright, let's stop wasting time and get a move on here. Gotta find another tower. Ah!
Minor settlement. Oh. I'm afraid I may not get one this episode. What do you mean, how does it upgrade? There, there are items in your inventory that you, you know, use and put it into your... It's, it's the same upgrades that we have. These are upgrades, you know. You use the upgrade and you put it in there. It's, it's exactly like all the other upgrades, except it's called an X-Rank upgrade. find another celestial archive. I get down to 10, I'm going to be done. Got 14. I'm going to try using more than one. Sometimes that works. I 
Uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm gonna call an end to this episode and live stream. It's proving to be a bit more difficult to find the Celestial Archives than I'd hoped. Oh well, we'll see what I end up doing next time. Oh well. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode and live stream. Hopefully we'll have more luck next week. So, anyways, I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day, and remember, everything's going to be okay.